Hi, this is Mark from The Bearded Ladies, um, showing you a bit more Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. This time I'm alone. Uh, Lee is uh, with the rest of the team getting the game wrapped up for the December the 4th release. Just wanted to show you what we would consider a side map. This is uh, called Scraplands. Uh, and this, if you know anything about the game already, you'll know that the Stalkers, they're always on the hunt out for scrap. So uh, this is a, a kind of a treasure situation for them. And of course, you know, uh, no silver lining, it's without a cloud, and you'll find out there'll probably be some enemies here. So let's go and explore. The Elder's counting on us to explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. We're here. The scrapyard. Quite a view. So there's some enemies there already. I'm going to turn the flashlight off. It's a very good idea to uh, scope the environment before you go into, uh, into battle. We've got Chief Deadfinger there. He's going to be a bit of a headache. Uh, there's a tank. Kind of the route is blocked that way around. Some good high ground in the middle. It's like a guy on the top of the roof there. I love a big pile of scrap. There's that butcher. He's on his own. I think we're going to just strike while the iron is hot. And get him out of the way. Each of the crew have currently got a silence weapon, so I can just pop round and, and take him out silently. Yeah, he caught me sneaking, but that won't matter when he's dead. So never mind. I can live with that. Let's just ducks around here. Out he goes. Oh, Good. Bye bye. You're earning your scrap, kid. So let's Get regroup. Here. Take his stuff, which is good. Take your scrap. All right, let's have a little look around this side. You move a bit faster when you've got the uh, the flashlight on, but of course the enemy's attention is greater. It can actually catch you easier. So it's to be used sparingly in the middle of. Uh, dangerous place like this. So Medbot, he's a, another, what well, I would consider quite a high threat, even though he doesn't identify himself as one, I would say. There's a butcher here. Come on. And then there's the Chief Deadfinger. Okay, I need to uh, wait for Chief to disappear or to head back a little bit and I'm going to Go for this butcher. I think I'm gonna go now. So, so. It's alright, same situation as before, he caught us. But uh, it won't matter as long as we can get rid of him during our turn. I'm really not too worried about this, so I'm gonna bring Borman out here. No one should have heard those silenced weapons, so we're back Get straight into real time. There's Medbot. I'd love to kill him now, but it's going to take too much work, and he's got armor as well. I think we need to get onto the roof and own the map as much as possible. Sure, I've got some EMPs. Yes, that might come in handy for our friend Medbot. Bowl around here and then up on the roof. And there was a guy up here. I don't know what those guys are doing. They're taking the funny route. They're coming. It's good. Tank has a lot of armor. It's got a lot of health as well. A bit worried about when we've got to deal with him. All right, we're going to go for this guy. No, not that guy. The 
this guy. Yes. Let's bring Sam a little bit closer to him. Parkour there. Let's see anybody else got notified of that shot either. Hopefully we won't get busted here. Now ducks, I need to do something with you. Twenty-five percent is not good enough. I want to get a crit hit if possible. Actually, I don't need to. I can just get close to him. Let's just do that. Back into real time again. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Come on. Glad it worked. So, taking out a few of the enemies now. We can get a good overview of the map. Problem is, we've still got uh, some hard enemies. Medbot, it's going to be a headache later on. And we've got a, a hunter down here. I'm going to go for this hunter next. I'm going to try and take him out silently. So, let's just get everybody lined up here and we'll do a bit of a fish in a barrel shooting situation. I'm just going to wait till Medbot goes away. So I don't really want him to know about this. He'll bring all the other enemies. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Hundred percent. as well 55% chance of crit what you got and then ducks yeah he's dead and a critical hit finish him off <laughs> yeah stone cold did anyone see that no so we're doing all right so far so here we go follow me we've got chief deadfinger we've got medbot and we got the tank. I think that's all we have left. So, who do we go for next? I think we're going to wail on Medbot. Because I don't like Medbot. We have history. Or we could get the chief. Screw it. I'm going to go for the chief. Because I know that if I get caught by him, he's going to be a lot of work. So let's... Uh, Everybody up here. Let's try and take him silently as much as possible, at least. Is all you got? Don't. <laughs> and a critical hit as well. Ah, oh, he's still alive. So I nearly got him stealthily. Uh, now all hell's gonna break loose. He's very skinny, isn't he? Ah, oh, and our friend Medbot's there. He knows what he's got to do next. We'll uh, we'll come to him in a second. Alright, well the Chief has only got one health left, so we can get rid of him pretty easily, I'd say. I'll just take it 50%. Get him in the back of the head. There you go, Chief. Now we got the tank. He's going to be a nightmare, but I'm actually more worried about Medbot at this stage. Because he's going to bring back enemies that we already killed, and I don't really want to deal with those. Especially the guys with rifles, and if the Chief comes back, He's not going to be best pleased with us. So let's. Where is Medbot hiding out? He went over this way, didn't he? Somewhere. Can't see him. Damn it. Alright. I don't want 
to get in too much trouble with the tank. Uh, if you've got a grenade on your Selma, you've got an EMP. Where was the medbot? There's the medbot. All right. First things first, then medbot. I'm going to throw an EMP at you. That'll put you out of action for a couple of turns. Keeps you out of trouble. Now let's get this tank. Try using this to get an extra critical. It reduces my hit chance, but I'll take a 75% guaranteed critical. That's much better. Now we're inside the building, so to speak. So we need to go. Just going to reload this. Get a grenade. Do a bit of damage to the tank with that, I think. Yep. Also, we're probably going to catch that ladder. He won't be able to climb up and get to us quite yet. So that's a good start. Now, Selma. Now there's no point being stealthy. I can use my heavy weapons. Ah, oh, he's an overwatch. I forgot about that. But he missed Selma. But he damaged the floor. So that's good. Although she's kind of in a dangerous position now. But, uh... I'm not too worried now. Maybe they could do some good damage to him here. Down he goes. And stay down. That was awesome. The boss freed himself. Oh, okay, well, it's time to go and deal with Medbot. Let's everybody sprint to Medbot. Actually, I'm going to use run and gun here. Because that will allow me to make a, a, an action after using both of my action points. Uh, actually, you can use the hot rush, maybe. Yeah. And I can... Ah! Well, I'm going to use it anyway, so I can get nice and close to him for the next attack. Uh, I'm going to just barge through this one. <laughs> And I can actually hit Medbot from here, so I'm going to go for it. <laughs> That's the thing. 25% could have uh, could have worked out just fine, but it didn't. Uh, let's get a room to him as soon as possible. He's only healing the uh, the butcher. We can actually kill that guy if he comes up. So Operating. I'm not too worried about him. And he comes back with reduced health. Do medbot good work. Alright, let's just bring him around here. Medbot. The medbot's giving in. He uh, he realised there was nobody left to save, and he suicided. And now we can go around and uh, loot the place as much as we like without any interruptions. And we found an artifact for the ark, which is cool. I can faintly see the letters. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we look forward to showing some more very soon. Thanks a lot. It's a pretty crappy torch, as it's not giving as much light as my flashlight, and it's too heavy.